it's nyalicious here again thank you so much for stopping by on my channel if this is your first time seeing this beautiful soul click on that red button and subscribe it's for free darling i'm a nigerian australian youtuber that loves creating content about food lifestyle vlog and more so subscribe to my channel and don't forget to on the notification bell so you would always get notified each time i upload a nice video on today's video i'll be showing you how to prepare catfish pepper soup with unripe plantain so keep watching so that you will see how to wash your catfish and also use it to prepare catfish pepper soup with unripe plantain <music> So guys, because of the C19, it's a little bit difficult to get a fresh point and kill catfish over here in Australia. So I bought this catfish from a Chinese shop, which is in a plastic bag. They already chop off the head of the catfish. So I'll go ahead and clean this fish before we start cooking. <laughs> I'm cutting out the fins of this catfish with the kitchen scissors. You can use your knife to do that. And I will cut the fish to my desired sizes. After cutting out the fins out of the catfish, I cut the catfish big so that it will not split while cooking it. As I'm touching it, you will notice that the catfish is slippery on a miyaminaka. I'm adding boiled hot water all over the catfish. The hot water will help to remove the sliminess of the catfish. I'll let it soak not longer than a minute. Make sure the hot water touches every part of the catfish. After one minute, I'll use cold water to rinse the catfish. That will help it to stop cooking make sure you rinse it very well let the water drain out of it this is what the catfish looks like after rinsing it with cold water let's go through the other ingredients three nut cubes one tablespoon of cooking salt one big red onions fresh pepper you can add pepper to your taste Fresh scent leaf in chow. I would also be using the dried in chow. For the spices, this is black pepper, African black pepper, Mpolozuza. not the normal English um, black pepper. The taste is not going to be the same. And here is a fu. A fu is always different than a huru. I've scraped the back of this a fu before now. Calabash nutmeg that has been roasted before blending it. Ehuru. Oda that has been blended in a powder form. Two fresh tomatoes. And here is the plantain that has not been ripe at all. Unripe plantain. A little bit of fresh rosemary. Cooking vegetable oil, which I'm going to use a tablespoon of this vegetable oil. I'm adding all the pepper soup spice into the blender. The black pepper, uda, efu, ehuru. And I'll blend everything together, even though some of them has been blended before. But I just want to blend it all together. I'm adding the fresh rosemary with the red onions into this mini kitchen processor to give it a rough blend. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please click on the red button. It's for free. Oh, 
I love the aroma of this fresh rosemary with the onions. I just added the fresh pepper into this mini processor and I'm just gonna let it to chop it up or roughly blend it. I'm going to roughly blend the fresh tomatoes which I've removed the seeds and the stalk mbulia, before blending the fresh tomatoes. I'm adding the roughly blended fresh tomatoes into this glass bowl and I'll go ahead and add one tablespoon of vegetable cooking oil into it. I will add all the blended pepper soup spice, the ehuru, uda, black pepper, uzuza seed, efu. I'm adding two cups of water into this glass bowl. I will add the three seasoning no cubes and I will add the tablespoon of salt into it and mix everything together. Let them combine very well. Don't forget to share this recipe with your loved ones. Now I'm going to pour the mixed ingredients all over this catfish. Make sure that this ingredient touches every part of this catfish. If I'm making catfish pepper soup for big events in a large quantity, I normally marinate it like this and cover it and put it in the fridge. Let it marinate overnight and I'll cook it in the morning so fast and yummy. For this small quantity, I'm going to cover it and put it in the fridge to marinate for 25 to 30 minutes so that this catfish can absorb the goodness of this pepper soup spice. After washing the unripe plantain and peeling it, you can use the ripe plantain if that is what you prefer. You would notice that this one is still very, very green. I could not wait for it to ripe longer than this. <laughs> After peeling the unripe plantain, which is very good for our health, especially for diabetic patients, I'm adding two cups of water into this pot. I'm adding all the unripe plantain into this pot. And I'll let it cook for 12 minutes. The reason why I'm cooking it first is because it's unripe and it's very hard than the normal ripe plantain. After marinating the catfish and cooking the unripe plantain for 12 minutes, now if you've not subscribed to my channel, please be cool. Click on the red button. It's for free, darling. So now I'm going to add all this marinated catfish into this unripe plantain. Add it gently, don't be rough. Don't forget that the fish is very soft, so you have to be careful while adding it into the pot. <laughs> After adding all the marinated spicy catfish inside this pot, I'm going to cover it and let it boil. Once this catfish start boiling, I will taste to see if the salt is okay. I just tasted for salt and it's okay. Now I'm adding the dried scent leaf in tram. And I will cover it to cook for 15 good minutes and we'll be right back. After 15 good minutes, <sighs> guys, the aroma that is coming out of this unripe plantain catfish pepper soup, oh my goodness, 
It's everything, darling. You need to prepare this catfish pepper soup for your family. I'm going to complement it with scent leaf and drown. And I will turn off the heat after that because this catfish pepper soup is ready and is calling my name. Feel free to join me at the dining table. Let's do it some justice. Thank you guys for watching this video. I can't love you guys less. And thank you to all my new subscribers. From my last video to this video, I got over 200 subscribers. I wish I can give you guys a hug one by one. But just know it that I love you guys so much. <laughs> And if you've watched up to this point without not subscribing, please click on that red button and on the notification bell so you would always get notified each time I upload a nice video every week. And I'll see you on my next video. Love you!